hook that. Good shot. Yep, good one. Another good one here, man. Wow, is that cool. Wait, all winter to see that. And he's just barely, 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 barely hooked. What we got? This is the third try for the intro. Here we go. What is going on guys? Today we are back with another video and uh, we are out here on Green Bay. We got out of the river, couldn't take it anymore. Too many people, too many boats. And uh, we're, like I said, we're out here in Green Bay. It's myself, we got Ryan, good buddy Ryan behind the camera right now. We're flying um, under the radar. We're going totally incognito today. We're in Ryan's boat. We're skating by in the little 14 footer out here in the bay today. But uh, I don't think that should inhibit us from catching some big walleye. What do you think, Ryan? Uh, I think we'll be all right. But yeah, first day out here. And uh, you know we gotta go find some fish, number one. And uh, number two, we obviously gotta catch them, right? And we're gonna be casting a bunch of stuff. Might be plastics, might be uh, rip and wraps. We don't really know yet for sure, but we'll kind of figure that out as the day goes on. But first thing we gotta do here, find some fish and uh, set up on hopefully catch them. And I like my big fish odds out here. Normally out here, if you get out here early, um, you can catch some big fish. I will say this, big time warning, if you're gonna come out here, be checking the satellite imagery, be checking ice, because there's a ton of ice floating around out here and it's very easy to go out, not see any ice, have ice blow in and you're trapped out in the lake and you gotta call a coast guard, all bad things. So um, watch the satellite imagery, be very safe and everything like that. But um, I'm gonna shut up, we're gonna get to work. We got a little bit of a drive here. Gotta do some side imaging, hopefully find some fish and uh, hopefully they're biting, stay tuned. All right, so when we're looking at the side imaging here, fishing big sand flats and this is what we're looking for right here most time you're going to see the shadows better than you will the actual fish if i screenshot this it's on ryan's graph so i don't want to screenshot it but because i'll never get the image off probably but um this is what you're looking for you, know, you can see pure sand so fish show up really well on side imaging there might be a lot of rough fish in those areas kind of spread out throughout these big flats but uh a lot of times in the spring when the water is this cold, you know, and still in the 30s, we're just looking for anywhere that has a lot of life. So you might be around carp, uh, you might be around whitefish, uh, but a lot of times walleyes will be in those same areas. some fish right now. That's a good right one. <laughs> That's what we're looking for. On the old jerk man, I literally just said to Ryan, I was like, hopefully that net's deep enough. <laughs> it fit. You could fit 20 10 pounders in this net, Ryan. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. That is a chunker right there, huh? Thick stocky one though. Back he goes. Big fat mama. Ooh, that's a walleye, huh? Ooh, nice walleye, nice walleye. We'll take them like that. Right next to the boat. On the rip and wrap. Well, Ryan just spent about uh, the last 15 minutes reeling in a monstrous carp. His arm's all sore. <laughs> now he's got a nice walleye on the rip and wrap. The nice part about the rip and wrap is if you're not catching them, you can at least snag a whole bunch of everything that swims. <laughs> but this walleye was obviously hooked in the mouth and it hit right by the boat, which is pretty common. This time you're in the waters this cold. Those fish are like that more vertical presentation. Ooh. There we go. Good chunker. Back he goes. Feels good to be on a lake and not in a river anymore. Oh. This is a walleye, it's a real good one. 
All right, guys, well, we are hooked up. I'm gonna say Big Walleye Ryan. Yeah. Just what it's doing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this is gonna be a really nice walleye. Except it's doing, man, it's doing really weird stuff though. But we're so shallow that a lot of times they can do some real goofy stuff like this. If it's a walleye, it's gonna be a toad though. I don't know, man. I'm starting to starting to have my second guesses here. This is one. I think it is a good walleye. Yeah, it is a walleye. Man, they're just fighting so hard. Look at that thing go. Oh, we are finally really putting it together now. Yeah, and our quality is definitely much better than we were previously having. Ready for the old scooper uni here? Yeah, look at that. Quality, quality, quality fish on the ripping wraps. My gosh, does that feel amazing to do too. And it's crazy, a lot of times these fish will trap at the bottom like that. And uh, they just pull so incredibly hard. Hold that sucker up there, Ryan. Boom. Toads, dude, toads, just super healthy fish. Oh, that was worth, it was worth it. Man, that is just the best feeling in walleye fishing right there. Green Bay Healthy Green Bay walleye going back. Awesome. All right, the rip and wraps. Probably one of the most deadly presentations this time of year. And these fish eat a ton of gobies out here in the bay. So this is a very natural presentation. It might seem fast and really aggressive for these fish when the water's in the 30 degree range. But uh, these fish are so used to, if you've ever seen gobies in the water, they basically shoot around from rock to rock and then they hit back in the bottom. Those walleyes are just so used to pinning the baits or pinning those gobies to the bottom to eat them that these rip and wraps are kind of the perfect bait. So even though we're fishing a lot of this five, six, seven foot stuff, and uh, a lot of times these fish, as the day goes on and the water warms up, these fish will keep sucking up into the shallow stuff. And you see a lot of your best bites this time of day in the late afternoon. And what we're doing, these baits up shallow, they're moving real linear. So you're not getting a whole lot of vertical movement off them. But this time of year when the water's this cold, I don't wanna be doing something like this. That's very aggressive, right? Uh, basically what I'm doing is doing it just enough to get that bait to go and you can feel it in your rod. You know, if I just go like, this I can't feel it but if I do a little pop like that you'll feel your rod tip just and that's all you want just that little we're not picking that bait very far up off bottom this time of year we're keeping it real tight and real subtle now as the spring goes on and the water warms up you'll see us doing more of this big huge sweep like this but the same thing goes for blade baits or these rip and wraps and the water is this cold they're good most of your bites are going to trap it right to bottom so you'll just go to lift up and you'll have a fish on and you want to be keeping that thing real close to bottom just pop it like that get that thing and hitting bottom again, keeping your rod high, hitting bottom, and just constantly all the way back to the boat and doing that, and that's kind of the deal. Colors, we've been playing a whole bunch. This is one place where I'm a huge believer in custom colors. Um, I like these chrome green ones. Ryan's been fishing a purple chrome all day, but uh, a lot of the stuff that has these bars on here that either resembles something perchy or something like that, we generally do well in, but always play around with it. There might be one day where one thing works really well. There might be other days where everything works really well. So um, that's kind of the game plan. That's how we're catching these fish. Hooked up. Fish on. Yep, good one. Another good one here, man. Up in six feet of water here. He's just powering too. I mean, look at that. Man, this does not get any better than that right there. Wow, is that cool. We wait all winter to see that, and he's just barely, 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 barely hooked. <laughs> but we got him. <laughs> just gorgeous fish, man. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous pop this guy off quick for you. Look at the gut on that thing. <laughs> wow, look at that thing. That is just an absolute chunk. Look at that belly. Let's let him go. See you later, girl. Toads, dude. Toads, toads, toads. I don't know if I've ever seen him. Oh, look at that right there. Ryan's got one way out there, dude. I will say this. You guys have been watching this video. One thing you've probably watched, it's a good one, isn't it? Be careful with that one, dude. <laughs> one thing you guys have probably noticed in this video, when we started, it was just perfectly flat. And we found a whole bunch of fish right where we are now, but we weren't getting a lot of bites. And uh, we kind of moved off it. And the second this ripple picked up, we're like, we got to get back to that spot. And sure enough, just boom, 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 right away when we got here. And so many times these shallow water early season bites are dictated by wind. 
and you can be sitting on fish all day and when you finally start getting some wind they'll start going especially when you're way up shallow like this is it a good one it's got to be a good one right this is gonna be a big fish right oh yeah it's just another stud look at that thing too. <laughs> now we're having fun <laughs> now nah. Now we're having fun. Oh, he's already off too. Already off too. I'll be the net man all afternoon for fish like that right there. Ryan's got more of a purple chrome color on. Look at that thing. Just cookie cutter studs, dude. Cookie cutter studs. Doesn't get any better. A lot of these fish are like 25, 26, 27 incher. There we go. Back he goes. Back she goes. Let's do it again. Well, I'm having a good time. <laughs> Tomorrow night. We can troll out here or fish out here. Right there. Hooked up. Wow. <laughs> There was one fish on side imaging and Ryan's like 65 feet off the left and I chucked it out there and somehow caught it. <laughs> this one's not as big. I, uh, I'm going to back my drag off. Right there. Not as big, not as big. I'll hand land this one. Actually, I think this is the smallest fish we've caught out here so far. It just spoils you. Just a nice chunky 22 incher. There we go. Not coming off though. Hook pretty good on that bottom hook. There we go. Another one. Let's let him go. Hooked up. Another fish on. Uh, did not get the hook set because I literally just threw this thing about a mile out there and uh, reeled up and my line was just already going the other direction. <laughs> Dude, this, this thing is so far out there. It's just, I don't even know. I might have been in the foot of water. <laughs> And like it feels relatively heavy. I'm gonna go back to the back corner here. Now we're having too much fun. I think I'm gonna need to do this thing honestly. Uh, it feels relatively large here. Oh, it's a good one, Ryan. Ah, he's not that big. He's not super big. It's a good one though. Bring him right over here. Man, they're just unbelievable. Oh yeah, look at that toad, 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 toad. I'll bring him over here. Ready? Nice, look at that. How can you complain? I'm not even gonna get the big camera out, we're just gonna let him go here. Just stud after stud after stud this afternoon. Too much fun. Oh man. <laughs> wow. Are we on a pot of fish or what now? You want me to net it or no? Angry. <laughs> constant, constant, constant fish right now. You know it's good when you're both just giggling away. It's like who really wants to go in night trolling? You can do I know we keep talking about oh we should probably set up and start night trolling soon, but when you're catching fish at this rate and they're just all quality. Makes it hard to. There we go. Just yeah, another. Clean, green, gold. Mm -hmm. Nice one. Back he goes. Wow, that was a phenomenal couple hours out here in the bay for the first time. Would you agree? Yeah, yeah, it, uh, it lived up to everything I wanted it to from last year. Yeah. <laughs> Phenomenal place to come fishing, like we said. Be very careful if you come out here. There's a ton of ice still moving around and shifting around. And uh, gotta watch the satellite and just be very weary of which direction that wind is out of and where the ice is and where it's probably moving. But um, yeah, phenomenal quick little afternoon outing. We only had a couple hours and uh, we kind of talked about it as we were filming it, but uh, the wind plays a huge role in getting these fish to bite up shallow. Right when we got out here, we actually found these fish and we fished for them, fished for them, fished for them, caught you know, one, caught two. The second we had a little bit of a chop pickup, we went right back to that spot where we were seeing most of those fish and it was just boom, 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 on fish constant pretty much after that. So um, I'm gonna shut up 
up, quit talking. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. We're actually gonna make a, a run to a different spot and try to film another video as the sun's going down late into the night tonight. So I appreciate you guys watching. If you're not already subscribed, please subscribe to this channel. Stay tuned for more content. We'll see you next time. Punch it out.